Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a review type video, obviously, as you can tell by the title. Today we're going to be testing out the new kind of NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop range. The foundation has been out for ages, but they've just released powders and concealers. They're called their contouring concealers, so I am going to be using a few shades to be doing cream contouring as well to really fully test them out for you. The reason I wanted to do this video is because I'm so like excited I mean the, like I said the foundation has been out for ages I have tried the foundation I love the foundation it is so full coverage and I love discovering new really just amazing full coverage foundation from the drugstore or high street or wherever you're from basically super affordable because I am a full coverage whore honey you guys know I love it and especially when it feels just like high-end quality as well I live for that I love discovering these new products and combinations of skin makeup it's one of my favorite things to do and I love trying out so I was thinking that oh my god if the NYX foundation concealer and powder together just looks bomb I have to share it with you guys I don't know if it's gonna look bomb I'm like fingers crossed but before we jump in to the application of the video and just getting started in general it's time for a post notification bell shout out time and this week it goes to Lucy Kate who says definitely trying this next time I go out hashtag notification bell love you Rach love you too girl hope you're excited for this video hope all of you are excited to see this all in action so let's just go ahead and get started I'm gonna go ahead and just get these little frangy bits out of the way. Okay, so in terms of priming the skin, primer is something that I feel like each individual person just has their own specific way of doing it. I do believe that there is a can't stop, won't stop primer, but that one is like a pore blurring primer and that just does not work on my skin. I have normal to dry skin, so if I wanna test this foundation the best way that I can in terms of m the way that my skin is and getting the most out of it, I'm gonna be doing my own priming method. So what I do for primer is spritz my skin with the Makeup Revolution Hyaluronic Fix setting spray and then apply a little bit of the Olay Banana Bright Eye Under Cream underneath. I felt like this is just something that I've learned is just works really well on my skin. Like I said, I have normal to dry skin. This banana cream isn't too thick. It's super brightening and really just helps to get rid of my bags underneath my eyes. This is just like a lazy girl primer. Hyaluronic acid is amazing on the skin, really plumps the skin. And this is actually a setting spray, but I've just found it works so good underneath foundation and, and like my skin makeup. So if you kind of have normal to dry skin slash are lazy like me, you can use this. If you have super, super dry skin, Revolution actually have like just a hyaluronic serum that you could use, which is obviously a lot more intense. This is just kind of like the spray on version and I've just found has done wonders for my skin. I've seen a lot of comments for a skincare routine. So let me know if you want me to do like a nighttime skincare routine type video. Enough of that, I've primed my skin, so let's actually just get on to the products. So the shade of foundation I'm gonna be wearing is classic tan i do have the shade golden as well that's definitely more my like prop like day one fake tan shade i'm not like hugely fake tanned right now so this is going to be my perfect shade for that so the claims are that it has a full coverage foundation up to 24 hour wear so at the end of this video i'm going to probably end the video really casually of like me on my phone giving you an update of how it is right at the end of the day so probably right before i upload this video i'll quickly add in a clip that's showing you the longevity of this all together because the powder and concealer will play an important part in that i found as this is so full coverage the best way to apply it is with a sponge if you don't want it to be super super full off the bat I mean you guys know I've been loving applying foundations with a brush recently but this is just like a little bit too thick I feel to do that especially because it has more of the matte slash dry finish so I feel like a sponge can let allows me to have moisture throughout ap the application process and it isn't too hard to blend out or just like feels like it's sat on the skin so like I said I'm gonna go ahead and take the shade at class tan and I'm gonna take two pumps either side because that's what I would normally do with any foundation and just see how I get on so I thought I would just show you what like half the face looks like as you can see the color is a really really good color match like I said classic tan love that you can see the sponge has like really 
kind of sheared it out. Actually, do you know what? Maybe I'll apply this side of my face with a brush just to really give you the, you know, comparison of what it looks like, what the difference that it makes. This side feels super, super comfortable and that was two pumps of the foundation, which is quite a lot. I had a little blemish here that it has covered and it feels super comfortable on the skin, like I said, which is always super important when it comes to skincare. But I'm going to go ahead and apply this side with a brush. Just going to be using a buffing motion to blend this in. You guys know that drill just gonna see how this compares to using a sponge and if you get more coverage or anything like that so I'll be back to show you when it's all blended out okay so this is the other side of the face done and blended and applied with a brush do you know what I'm not noticing too too much of a difference I there is like just slightly more coverage on this side but I genuinely thought that this would feel way more uncomfortable on the skin and feel genuinely thick but it doesn't I don't know why I thought that would be in the first place. I just know that it's full coverage and sometimes with full coverage matte drying foundations it can just be uncomfortable. But I actually prefer the coverage that the brush has given me on this side. It doesn't look any different in terms of the way that it's sat. I mean you can tell this side is a little bit more sheer. So I'm just going to take my brush and just kind of go over the side that I applied the sponge with just to kind of you know even it out and make sure that both sides are looking the same but with two pumps that's definitely a comfortable amount on the skin you could definitely add more to get that real super full coverage but two pumps is enough for me I'm not doing anything too crazy today that I need a big thick like layer of foundation for I don't really have a lot of blemishes to cover so the coverage for me looks great i have like some around here which is covered amazingly i never really like to apply too much to my forehead anyway so yeah two pumps either side with a brush or a sponge was enough for me to get like a medium slash full coverage from that feels super like not tacky it doesn't feel too wet or sticky like i said it is a matte and drying foundation so i think we're good to move on to the next step so the next step is concealers now i'm gonna try three i have not tried these yet the foundation like i said i had already tried but these concealers are brand new i'm gonna take the shade true beige underneath my eye and just like on all the areas that I want to brighten up this is a really nice yellow shade I like the applicator it's going on very like wet and I like that I don't like it when it feels too thick and dry right off the bat apply it down here 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 and of course just in like that shape on the forehead. I like to always take up the sides of my nose to give like kind of a narrower effect. I am gonna go in with a beauty blender this time. I always like to use a sponge for for my concealer. Ooh. Let's okay, I probably didn't need as much as I put on, but that shade. It's a really nice brightening shade for underneath the eyes. The coverage is so nice. It doesn't feel too thick. I can't really see it creasing either because it, like I said, it's full coverage, but it's not thick feeling on the skin, which is great because there is nothing worse than a thick, like tight sensation underneath your eyes, if that makes sense, because you're using a full coverage thick concealer. I'm really liking this colour. It's like a really nice like banana-y brightening shade. I mean, normally I would go for something a little bit more neutral with a slightly pinker undertone. A lot of the NYX shades are very yellow based and that's not necessarily a problem. But if you do suffer from really, really dark under eye circles, I would probably do a lot of my colour correcting before this and using like peach tones to get rid of any darkness there before going in with something like this, which is a little bit more brightening. I'm just gonna blend out everything else. I nearly forgot my lip then, that would have been quite something. So this is what it looks like just with that concealer and foundation on. Literally can't see it creasing at all, which I am so happy about because sometimes with these fuller coverage concealers, they feel like the way for full coverage is thickness, 
thickness underneath the eye, especially if you have slightly more aged skin, just like crinkles and creases. I mean, we'll really see how it works when we apply the powder, but we're not quite done with the concealers yet. I'm going to be doing some cream contouring, and I thought I would use a little mix of shades. So that one was the shade True Beige underneath my eyes. This one is Deep Cool, and this one is Mahogany. So I'm kind of going to use Deep Cool as my kind of, you know, base contour which okay it looks way darker on the skin than it did in the pot <laughs> so this might take a little bit of work to blend in but I wanted something a little bit lighter for like my forehead and stuff because I don't really like to use cream contour to reduce the size of my forehead my fore I don't really feel like I have to do that but I love a cream like creamy tanning product on my forehead just to really warm it up so I'm going to be taking this one sort of you know, like that. Just a few dots down. I'm also going to use this shade to contour, ooh, contour my nose. And also this shade to do my chinny chin chin like so, so to blend out, I normally like to take a brush. This is a stippling brush. This is from Blank Canvas Cosmetics. It is an F45 brush. So yeah, I'm just going to... Take my brush, I always try and blend upwards. Okay. So the mahogany shade is blending out really nicely, which is the slightly lighter one. However, the slightly, the more darker one, deep cool, really just like has formed a line and won't blend. So let me just see. It's kind of left like little marks where I put the dots. So like I said, I think with this, you just you have to act really quickly. I mean, I'm applying quite a lot of pressure there to be able to blend it out. Hmm, I don't know about that one. I'm kind of scared that because I spent so much time trying to blend this out, this is going to be even harder. Let me... Okay, no, I was wrong. I think on this side, I actually applied sort of more of the product. So there was more to work with and it blended. I know it doesn't look it right now, but I always go in a foundation brush anyway. See, now that blended a lot better than this side. I mean, I think I definitely could have done without the deep cool shade but actually it's added more of the contour whereas like I said this one is just like well I was using it to just warm up my complexion but you oh my god okay you definitely can't leave this product on the skin for very long like I'm thinking that's blended it out but that it's like it's hard to blend out no like see that line isn't like my chin, that's, oh my jaw even, that's the product. Okay, I need to like spray something, hold on. There we go. Also maybe it's one of those, maybe it will work a lot better if when you like apply the products to your skin, spritz your face with Fix Plus and then blend. Cause now that's blended like way better. So much nicer and easier. But you have to be quick with these products you have to now i gotta oh my god my nose i forgot about my nose oh <laughs> okay wait this okay i need to work quickly 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 okay I blended it out the best that I can. So I feel like in conclusion with those products, I'm definitely not going to be reaching for the kind of more contoury shades in terms of just because of the way that I use them. I'm leaving that product on my skin for too long to be able to make that work. This, love this. when I Because I just did it straight under my eyes and blended it out straight away. Worked like a dream. The coverage is so nice. The colour is so nice. It feels still so nice on my skin. However, applying as a contour, just like dots and lines and like specific almost like shapes 
and then obviously not being able to blend them all out as quickly I don't think I'm gonna be reaching for that too much maybe I'm better off using a beauty blender to blend them out when in future if I try them again but that's just like that's not the way that I like to do it um I feel like I lose precision with that and I want to get my contour looking as sharp as possible I suppose a lot of that is done with powders which we're going to be moving on to next but yeah foundation love concealer under my eyes and brightening love the contouring side of it just from the way that I do it with my method not a fan because I work too slowly and they just I don't know they're not blending the best way that I feel that they could just because of my method but that's the only way I'm going to be able to try it so mixed emotions and feelings about them let's move on to the powders okay so you guys know I have officially like found my favorite way to apply powders and just look flawless with my makeup and that is using the oh my god I need to get a new one I am going to do have a new one, but we'll just use this one today. Um, the Beauty Blender Powder Puff. So to kind of give more diversity to what I'm using and not just restrict myself to one product, I'm going to be using two shades of the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder. I'm going to take the shade Light underneath my eyes and the shade Medium just kind of like around my face. So I'm also going to be using this to help contour my nose. So let's just get some powder out. Woo! Okay a lot of powder out. I'm going to take my favourite Sigma brush to contour my nose and I'm going to take the light shade for this. Ooh. Ooh. Take it up my nose. Then as you guys know I take my little powder puff and just press that underneath my eyes. Not gonna lie though, with this foundation and concealer combo together, as someone with, you know, normal to dry skin, I really don't feel like I want to powder. Like, I don't need to apply a shit ton of powder. This feels very, like, set and matte on my skin, which is great. Because sometimes when you go in with a lot of powder on products, it can, that's when you start to look a little bit dirty. If you know what I mean, I mean, when you're applying powder everywhere and you've got a lot of makeup on, sometimes you get a moustache and sometimes it don't look good. But like I said, I'm also going to take the medium shade. I'm also just going to take that on my little puff and just kind of blend that on the rest of my skin. And you might be thinking, the motion that I'm doing this with the powder is, is it gonna like move the makeup and stuff? But like I said, it feels really dry and matte on my skin, so I don't feel like it's gonna move the makeup at all. I don't really always like to bake under my contour sometimes, especially when it's been quite dark anyway. I sometimes don't wanna emphasize that. I mean, I'll go back in with powder contour because that's what I always do anyway, but, that feels really great on my skin. And the colour isn't a super strong colour payoff. And this was the shade Medium, which is the perfect match for the foundation that I was wearing, which was Classic Tan. But I am going to go ahead and buff this away. Oh my god, look how much that's like brightened up underneath my eyes. And again, no creasing. Look, my skin looks smooth AF. Nose looking snatched. Let's just dust all of it away. I know tools are super important in the way that your skin looks and I finally feel like I've cracked the best tools to, in order to like make my base look and be as set as possible. But those products on my skin feel so comfortable. I know we had a little bit of trouble with the blending of the concealer, but obviously managed to get it to work and everything else in combination with each other, like, feels so comfortable on my skin. I feel set, I feel like I could touch my face and not, like, nothing is gonna transfer. So far, so good. I've obviously, like, just applied this. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my skin makeup the way that I normally would. Nothing new here. I'm not gonna be, you know, adjusting the base in any sort of way in the sense of taking anything off. So like I'm not cheating or anything. I'm just gonna go ahead and put bronzer, blusher, 
highlighter on, whatever, brows. I'm not really going to do any eye makeup because this is really kind of more of a skin focused tutorial. I'll be back. Um, let me, you know what? Let me put a timer on my phone to see how long it takes me to complete the look with everything else done. So you can see what this looks like after that amount of time. And then I'll be back at the end to kind of conclude the video, show what it looks like after like the whole day has been and give you my final thoughts on it. So let's go ahead and start. So I'll be back. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and done the rest of my face. I'm trying out like this new thickening sort of fluffier brow product living by the way it took me 13 minutes and 45 seconds ish so this has been on for like another 15 minutes but i'm now gonna go ahead and just carry out the rest of my day so i will be back to conclude this video at the end of the day or like maybe just at like sort of like 7 p.m it's now around 1 p.m so like a whole like six hours i don't i know it says 24 hour wear claim but like who the hell is gonna keep a foundation on for 24 hours my skin would literally be crying but yeah I've got quite a few things to do today other filming bits etc etc so just kind of like a normal day for me which is a perfect way to test out this foundation so I'll be back at the end of the day like I said it'll probably end a lot more casually I'll be probably on my phone inserting a clip as I'll be editing this video but so I just like zoom, obviously zoom you in a little bit close to show you with other products. It still looks super, super like flawless, comfortable, really kind of like happy about it so far. Obviously we had that little trouble with the contouring blending, but really just like I love the way this is that this feels on my skin, especially it feels so comfortable. So I really hope it kind of stays looking matte throughout the day, really just like stands the test of time. So without further ado, I'm going to say bye to you from this station now and I'll be back at the end of the day to conclude and round off this review. So, I'll see you then. Yeah. Hello, it's the end of the day. I'm literally about to start uploading this video. It's like 10 to 7. I've been editing, eating, filming all sorts, hence why I've got like this pink lip on. Um, but so far... I mean, it looks a little bit dirty around here, but I was doing a lip swatch video and it did mean I was going over with a foundation brush, which could just be like a little build up of product. So I'm not really counting that as like the foundation itself problem. Literally, I've only got like the tiniest little creases underneath my eye. So I'm so impressed about that. Other than that, nothing has budged on my face. Like, I mean, I wasn't like doing a hundred meter sprints or anything to really like full on test the way I was just doing my normal day which is kind of the best way that I can probably test the foundation because it's kind of similar to what you guys might be doing as well the only thing I can notice is just around here it's just a little bit dewy but it's, it's not come off or anything like that so for the long wear test I'm super super impressed with the foundation and the powder and all of that together obviously the one thing I didn't really like was the contouring concealers I just feel like they weren't really for me in terms of the way that I apply them and would make them work with my skin, I'm just a little bit too slow. But obviously I did say that tip, spray your face with Fix Plus and use it as well to blend in. That really helped, but I really, really loved the coverage underneath my eyes and the foundation I already love. And the powder is so, so good as well. Like the color of it, the way that it brightened up underneath my eyes, I was super, super impressed. So overall, I like, I'd give it the whole range, like, a 7 out of 10, I'm not going to be reaching for those cream contour concealers anytime soon, but all the other products I would happily use on a regular basis, they've really lasted well on my skin. Again, normal to dry skin, I've left them all linked down below if you guys want to try them as well. But thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you liked this little wear test bit at the end as well. Let me know if you want me to include them in, in future reviews. The next video you see from me, I think is going to be a weekly vlog, I was letting you guys all know on my Instagram, I've got a really, really exciting week this week. So I'm going to try and vlog that for you, we've got some hair changes, parties, seeing Hannah and Mads, all of that good stuff. So that's all happening this week a few events as well so i thought i'd take you along with me so let me know in the comment section down below if you are excited for that and that'll be going live on sunday so yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and review make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did and if there are any other products slash collections that you want me to review and try and i will see you in sunday's video bye guys